Hi there. I have gotten some requests from some of my followers to do a slower tutorial for um, a double hammock with an eyelet finish. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with my demo doll because my baby is asleep. Toddler is sleeping. Um, so you can use this, uh, you, you can use a base size for this carry. And you're going to go a half distance off center. Um, and I'm going to go and put my baby down for a second. I'm going to go this way because you want the shorter side um, to be your chest pass. So that's where I'm going to start, baby. to Superman toss her onto my back. And then I'm going to pin the top rail through my teeth. Make a seat. Okay, so I have some top rail slack there. I'm going to pull out. Okay, and then just to be certain, this is the shorter side, and that's how I'm going to start my chest pass. But first, let's, let's lower baby because this is a double hammock. baby's head doesn't turn very well, so she's going to be plastered to my back. And then I'm going to start a chest pass. I like to do uh, Olena, Rapalina's method for chest passes. Um, so I'm going to keep this bunch and I'm going to put the top rail in my teeth. Then I pull it out of my teeth and uh, bring that top rail up high. And then I'm going to distribute this bottom rail down, spread it down, and then distribute it around baby. the street so sorry for the noise okay so oh, really I should have done the top rail L pull before I spread that out so I'm going to do that now top rail L pull snug that up and then tighten up that bottom rail again and then I'm going to do a whole wrap tightening going to start the eyelet, which is essentially a shoulder to shoulder finish with a loop in the chest belt. So I'm going to bring this part under my shoulder um, over and then down. And if you don't have enough um, 
tail to pin that between your knees. You can do a little half knot here um, temporarily to help hold this tail in place if you have a nice grippy wrap. Um, I did have enough to hold it in in between my knees, but if you're working with like a base minus one, which I think you can do with this carry, this is a base. Um, this is definitely a base carry, but I think because of the knotless finish, you could do this with a base minus one. So if you're dealing with a shorter tail here, this is always my trick with an eyelet finish um, to hold this so you don't have to hold it between your knees. Um, okay, so then we are going to make an eyelet and then it's gonna go over the shoulder, right? So we're gonna flip the rails and you see I have my hand holding the loop. So I have this hand right here holding the loop. And then I'm going to start to arrange this over my shoulder. Like that. And I'm holding all the tension in my hand right now. So I already did my strand by strand tightening through here. And I'm holding it all through with this hand. And now I'm going to switch hands real quick. And then a lot of people ask me how I maintain tension while distributing this pass when I need enough slack to make the loop. So what I do is I set how much slack I want for the loop right now. And this is a perfect size loop for me. I like that size loop. So I hold that there and then I'm going to pin this with my chin. So now nothing should move. This is the amount of slack I need for the loop. I'm gonna hold it with my chin, and then I'm gonna do all my tightening up until I feel that tightening in my chin. So it shouldn't, you shouldn't tighten through your chin, just up into your chin. Okay, so I'm going to pass this new top rail, the purple rail, up high in baby's back. Still pinning it in my chin. Then I'm gonna put this in my mouth. Don't let go of your chin though. Okay, so now I'm gonna kinda strain by strain tighten here. Now that pass is nicely tightened, but I didn't over tighten the loop because I held it with my chin the whole time. Um, don't hurt your neck. Okay. So now, again, I'm holding the loop, so I can't pull the tension out of the loop. I'm gonna do a little bit of strand by strand tightening through my hand to get rid of any slack. And then I'm just going to pull this tail through that loop, which is a nice knotless finish. And then um, now I don't have to have this as a half knot anymore, so I'm just gonna push this down. Now comes the spreading and tightening part. You could just leave it like this. This is perfectly acceptable at this stage. I personally like to spread everything, so I'm gonna do that. So I tend to kind of try to, because it's a knotless, just going to find that top row. Okay, I'm gonna grab this and grab all any slack and then just kind of tuck it into the eyelet. And then I'm gonna find that yellow rail and I'm gonna pull it this way. Pull it back that way. I'm gonna kind of do that with each section. I'll tuck it around. And then, because I like to have this one come down a little bit, I'm gonna bring that down. 
and then I'm going to tighten this purple rail. Okay, let's see him over here. Let's take this top rail, tuck it in on itself, and then take that purple and drag it back this way a little bit. This is where it gets a little fiddly. Any of these knotless eyelet finishes tend to be a little fiddly or faffy. You can really spend some time making it exactly how you want it. Making sure all the colors are showing. You know, faffing. <laughs> um, it's a little choky on me right now. I think when I do it with my baby, he, brings, he tends to sit a little bit lower and it's not as choky. So yeah, you can absolutely leave it like this, um, which essentially, because you're covering the um, double hammock waist belt, it really just looks like a double sling eyelid finish, but it's got that extra support from that um, chest belt, so it's more comfortable than a double sling, in my opinion. Um, you can also put it behind you like this. I tend to like to uh, swap these for some reason. I think it kind of looks nice, and so I just kind of gather like that. I have a little cross there, and uh, you have a a perfectly good knotless finish here so this is just because you want to get it out of the way my baby ends up being big enough that I can just tuck the tails under his bum and it will stay there this baby not working so well so you can tie it if you want a half knot's just fine again this part's unnecessary but it's something you can do it looks kind of nice to get it out of the way um, if you're cooking or something and tails are going to be a little bit of a problem and then just make it comfortable. The eyelet is as fiddly as you want it to be. If you want to be picky like me and perfectly distribute it, it's going to take a little bit more time to arrange it exactly how you like it. But like I said, once you just get that knotless tuck in there, just tighten it and you're good to go. So. You don't have to be as fiddly as I am. You know, this baby gets swallowed up in these kind of carries because this baby is like a newborn size. But um, there you have it. Here's a double hammock with a eyelet finish in my new Didymo Sunrise Liska, which I'm very, very excited about. Look how beautiful this thing is. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions, if there's any other tutorials um, from any other carries that I've done on my Instagram, TikTok, that you want to see me do a slower version, uh, let me know. I take requests. Um, have a good day.